Elon Musk if you don't have him blocked and just do hashtag free HO3K. But now back to Grand Finals. Back to Grand Finals. Starting things off on Battlefield, Mr. E versus Dill. Like we were saying before, in Winner's Finals, this was extremely in Mr. E's favor. So I'm very excited to see the adaptations come through for Dill as Dill tries to get some you know, momentum back into her favor in this corner. But these reversals from Mr. E have just been so strong. I mean, I, Mr. E is just so good at these Dolphin Slashes, looking like the world's best Ken out here. Just uh, playing it very, very safe. I mean, on Battlefield, you can get away with it. It's just so safe to land. Oh, you see that gyro get up there. And Mr. E, unfortunately, in an offstage situation where Dill excels here is Rob. All oh, no that work okay, by yeah. Mr. E just to almost get killed? And the fastball, too, from Mr. E to make it back to the ledge after the early Dolphin Slash. He is sitting pretty once again and now dill is the one who has to make her way back down onto stage it looked like mr e wanted to go for an edge guard there but didn't quite believe in himself and instead found himself getting reversal you gotta believe believe all right anyway mr Woo. e looking for an aerial of any sort here what do we see for a pressure here lucina's only got a few options for that ledge guard Ooh, oh was a my little gosh. bit afraid of the gyro for a little bit too long Gotta be careful wow. there. That definitely looked like it could have shield poked, but Mr. E able to find the kill with the run in up smash. Uh oh. Dill actually calling out that uh, fall through the platform. As long as Mr. E doesn't get too predictable with that dolphin slash, it will come in handy this game. We haven't seen a whole lot of gyro play from Mr. E. Just kind of thrown it downward there, and it definitely could have been used as a ledge trapping. Oh, uh, there it so is. There we go. Finally starting to see some Z drops and trying to throw it down as well, but Dill ready what with the catch. Uh oh, and may not make it back. They make Ooh. it back. Oh, but only to get killed. Yep, calling out Mr. E, doing that tournament winner, the drop down double jump. And now Dill finally on the board, but with 97% might be huh? seeing a stock taken soon. Did you see that? The laser was <laughs> just killed the gyro. Uh, yeah. Oh, Mr. E looking for another one of those falling neutral air setups into the F smash, but now has to find his way back out of the corner against Dill, who has the power of the platforms and the gyro on her side. You know, it is unfortunate because I did see that, uh, con like I did see that confirm get in there, but you know, when Mr. E actually, when Dill actually dropped out of that, Mr. E had already had that buffered. So Mr. E, while I'm sure they're like, well, you know, I, I'm gonna stop that. It was just too late. Their fate was sealed. And uh, oh my gosh, is this Marth? Because that was a tipper. Yeah, that definitely. What I'm a little shocked that killed, especially with how heavy Rob can be. So you know, Mr. E counting his blessings right there. You know, maybe Rage coming through a little bit, and now Mr. E gets to work on a little bit more extra credit. Dolphin Slash to reset the ledge scenario, but uh -oh. just gets himself edge guarded. Yeah, Dill resetting this entire stock. All right, it's sixty percent, seventy-three percent. All right. Whoa. Boy, interesting. You'll I mean, love it, it works. Love it. No, here's the thing. That does have more range than a forward air. Yeah, it does. And as well, Mr. E can react to the timing because, you know, we typically see Rob, like, just stall out for so long off stage. Right, so, so I just do, reach out and poke. Yeah, I do like the, the coverage option there from Mr. E. Right now, though, Dill. Oh, what, one a, drag team, down. what a drag down. And now Dill is the one who gets to play the game, having Mr. E off stage and going to be taking <laughs> game one. <laughs> take that, take that. Don't say no. We, we, take we take it. those. What, are you going to give him the game? Smile and go to the next one. No, but I get it. Listen, listen. This game can be dumb, but that was a really, really good reversal of fortune from Dill. Keeping their cool, making sure that they were just on point. And while they were even down a stock, just bringing it back, playing it safe, and just doing that. Well, I'm going to be honest, very, very optimal option right there as they did the, uh, what do you call it, the spinning top off stage? Incredible. Mm -hmm. Incredible stuff. All right, so let's see. It does look like Mr. E's counter pick is going to be taking us back to Battlefield for game two of our first grand final set. I am very surprised that Dill didn't want to ban that.
I mean, Battlefield is a fantastic Rob stage. It is, but did we... you see how much Mr. E was getting away with those Dolphin Slashes? Yeah, the Dolphin... It was so safe, those first two stocks. The Dolphin Slash is definitely putting in a ton of work for Mr. E. And, I mean, as well, we haven't really seen Dill get the opportunity to kill off the top super often with things like the up tilt into up air. It's been mostly, like, edge guards and stuff. It's not very often that a Lucina will actually recover from on high because a Dolphin Slash from the stage onto the ledge is just so safe. Mm -hmm. Ooh, gets the Z drop, but unfortunately not able to capitalize off of that high Dolphin Slash that looked like a free punish for Dill, but she just didn't quite react in time. When in doubt, sure you can. Yeah, I mean, especially if you've got a platform there to, to catch you in its loving arms. <laughs> Come here. I will keep you safe. <laughs> Dolphin slash Woo! away or forward smash away. Mr. E taking that first stock. Oh, still going and trying to punish uh, Mr. E for maybe being too aggressive, but uh, it's okay. They saw it. Yeah, they knew what was happening. That one's definitely a Dill classic of just drop from Angel platform into immediate mash side B. I mean, that's fine. Like, it, it works. Look at that. If it yeah. caught, that's a free kill. You're invincible. What's, what's Mr. E going to do? Wait? Oop. Getting caught a little bit there by the gyro. Mr. E stubbing his toe, getting a little bit of percentage. Ow. But now Dill able to make it, kind of make it back to center stage thanks to the platforms. Okay, Mr. E with a great grab, throwing them off stage. Trying to two frame, doesn't make it, but that's okay. Another grab off stage. Gyro killed and Dolphin Slash safely off stage, but Dill is like, I can grab too. All right, Mr. E playing things patient there. Didn't get his jump wasted, but Dill continuing to reset the situation with more grabs. Finally, though, back down into center stage. Mr. E with the gyro in hand. Another dolphin slash. It anti-airs too. It, I mean, it yeah. just does everything. I mean, did you see that they were going for that back air? And oh my gosh. So an up smash is not a common move from Lucina, especially because it's so laggy and punishable on shield. But here's the thing. If it shield pokes, it does have a little bit of a hitbox that'll pop you up into a follow-up. Right, oh boy, here we go. see what Mr. E can do right now. Oh, with, they're going to cook. Yep, with a stock lead. Looking for another Shield Breaker. We haven't seen too many of those thus far in this set compared to Winner's Finals. Dill is actually really, really, really too good at uh, parrying, so, shield, so a Shield Breaker isn't going to be as safe unless it's a, a, like a big mix-up. But, but it's really good to extend one offstage. Dill shaking her head once again as she gets kind of a silly kill. Just F-Smash from center stage as Mystery tried to pick up the gyro. But like we were saying, you know, we take those. Of course. That's, that's your problem, not mine. All right, looks like Mr. E is going to, ooh, a back air on shield. If the opponent ooh. is not expecting it, it's good. If the opponent is expecting and, uh, you know, parries it, haha, <laughs> punish. Ooh, what a parry on the gyro. Uh -oh. Whoa, <laughs> Mr. E fell out? Yeah, I mean, I love the adaptation from Mr. E right there. We saw him try and cross up to ledge in that exact same situation before, but instead got put off stage. What a tech from Mr. E, but and it doesn't Dill reset matter. the brackets. A 2-0 reset from Dill as we move on into true finals. I will bet you a dillion dollars this is going to be a fire set. <laughs> one, di one dillion? One dillion dollars. I don't know what that converts into force armor bucks, but uh, I'm, sure it's, I'm sure it's enough to I buy mean, me a sandwich, the, right? The, uh, the exchange rate is <laughs> Look, not not looking too hot for for force bucks. Ah, listen, it's your fault for pegging it to the uh, yuan. All right, let's see as we move anyway, on. Anyway, what is Mr. E on having these wonderful punishes, but deal with just a phenomenal like a uh, punish play here? That's right. Drink that water. Hide your homies for life. <laughs> yep. Please stay hydrated out there. It was like 90, 92 today. 93 was actually the high with 35% humidity. I went on a run and like a block down. And I was like, <laughs> it's like going out swimming. No, no, no. I have a friend up in um, North Carolina right now. And they're like, it's 75 humidity. You're like, ha, 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 ha. never, never, never live in the desert and never live in North Carolina. <laughs> All right, and it looks like we are going to be moving back, continuing Lucina Rob on Battlefield. 
I mean, listen, I don't, well, it is Mr. E's counter pick, so this is fine, but I still think Dill should be. Well, this, this is, you know, the, the neutral starter since we have moved on into Ah, true you're correct. Finals. I apologize. But I think it doesn't matter anyway. I think Mr. E would have chosen Battlefield. It's still a fantastic stage for both characters. They're really going to be able to play, like, both play optimally. <laughs> Misery with a fantastic Dolphin Slash to get Dill off stage, Doing a really good job just wave dashing back. I know it's not a true wave dash, but it looks like one. That's what we're going to call it. <gasps> no, going no, way too low. Okay. <laughs> Mr. E, don't give me a heart attack. Not on Grand Finals. Just barely able to make it back thanks to the little bit more momentum from the, uh, the, the Dancing Blade. Whoa. Great use of the gyro there. Dill managing to catch it, though, on the comeback. And a great Dolphin Slash to let Jewel take that first stock. Still readjust their hair. Gets back in the zone. Auto zone. All right. Uh-oh. Getting the Aegis Reflector set up, but not able to cash out on it as Mr. E is uh, sent past the gyro. So Mr. E gets to live a little bit longer and continue to set up this extra credit with these ledge traps. Okay, Mr. E just playing very patiently, trying not really going for an easy kill here. Instead, just racking up damage, making sure Dill doesn't get back on stage. Gyro. Keeping them away, though, enough to get Dill back in center stage. What a parry! Uh, yes, but it d did send Dill back, so, you know, not enough to punish. Yeah, especially at max distance. Whoa, that laser going max distance, though. Yep, only the soft hit, though, of F Smash, which means Mr. E gets to live a little bit longer. Might be seeing him coming back to center stage, but Dill has just caught every option except for that forward air. And as soon as Mr. E is back in, he's cooking. All right, what is Mr. E going to do here? I'm waiting to catch Dill up high, but it is very difficult to punish uh, Rob when they're just floating on up high. They can just stall. Ooh, what wow. a great catch on the tech. Pretty much a frame trap there from Mr. E. Does get shield poked by the down smash, but continuing to live <gasps> using the Whoa! footstools. You're so cool. I mean, the footstool while Dill was double jumping, so they didn't actually go into the footstool animation, but it was enough to get back, which is excellent. Mr. E still on their third stock. Dill struggling to even get one stock off of this game. Yeah, this is this is suddenly looking like winner's finals, Mr. E, once again. All right, Mr. E, here's the thing. Maybe they just needed the warm-up. They've been out of bracket for, what, like 30 minutes? Yeah, I mean, you get like a full, a full set to play around with when you're coming into Grands. Uh, yeah, there we side. go. Finally. Tombstone A nice through. seismic slam. All right, Rob is one of the characters who has the burst option to punish Dolphin Slash to the top platform. Finally, the first time that we see it from Dill. Uh oh, great Dolphin Slash. Honestly, Misery has been on with these Dolphin Slashes, punishing every single aggressive approach. It is a frame three, I believe, an invincible on startup. Yeah, and I mean, Mr. E has still been using it, like, sparingly. Like, yes, Battlefield makes it extremely safe, but as we've seen, Rob is able to punish it. So, really, Mr. E has been picking and choosing those moments Whoa. carefully. Whoa! A neutral getup? Okay. The down smash. Mr. E being like, haha, you thought you were safe, but I'm back. Never safe. Never safe. Mr. E up one game against Dill, just needing one more to become Xeno 301's champion. Yep, we are still best of three here tonight, even with the small but stacked bracket. We we all we, we got work tomorrow. Listen, listen, if you want to make sure that we go full time with this, uh, you can always come to Xeno and give me $5. But in lieu of that, <laughs> you can always subscribe to House of 3000. How about with this wonderful production? Help uh, put them on the map and get them gigs elsewhere. Obviously, we, uh, they have done wonderful production for 2K. They've done wonderful production. They will be doing production for Defend the North. Mm -hmm. So we want them to get more gigs. So more money means more money and more input into these sorts of events. So please, please use your Amazon bucks to help us out. Yeah, if you've got one of them primes laying around, you can throw it our way. But right now, moving on back into true finals, Dill's counterpick once again being Battlefield. I would expect nothing less. It's it's just a good stage. It's there is no bad stage with Rob. Uh oh, Mr. E just so aggressive here with this off stage play, this edge guarding immaculate, though quite an even game here still, just because Rob is so heavy. Uh -oh. 
Yeah, and I mean, that's kind of one of the other things that makes Battlefield so good for Rob, is that Rob is able to take uh -oh. the high recovery to the top platform. Mr. E once again falling out of the Aegis Reflector setup, still not able to cash out. Now a little maybe out of practice with this, uh, you know, Rob in a hard place setup. Uh-oh. Mr. E gets a chance to play with the gyro, but Dill catching it once again. No, Rob doesn't like to share. Mr. E getting them off stage for that first stock kill. Ooh, almost getting caught by the side B from the Angel platform. Mr. E rolling away for his life and able to hold on and start the extra credit. No way. Online, <gasps> almost getting caught. Honestly, great patience. They're just to wait for Dill to move a little forward so they could actually roll back on stage safely. I'm genuinely surprised Mystery did not get caught by that arm murder from Ledge. And Mystery's been grinding. Mystery's been studying the matchup. They're like, what is Zeno? It's it's We Fit and Rob. <laughs> These are the two <laughs> matchups I need to learn. <laughs> the, the two boss battles. All right, another Tombstone. Dill able to bring us to even stocks. But, I mean, Whoa! another one. Oh, and Dill just laughing it off. Honestly, phenomenal. Boom, Thundercats. Ho! Now, Mr. E, one stock away from being our Xeno 301 champion and taking things 2-0 over Dill after the bracket reset. Going to see if Dill has an answer, but she is more than a full stock behind right now. Hey, well, want to take, take a grand finals bet? <laughs> I'm not betting on this. <laughs> Dill reverse sweep. I mean, if we're able to see a, you know, if we're able to see a, a gyro zero to death, but Mr. E playing so safely here at this ledge, another F tilt, swiping the gyro out Whoa. of play. Dolphin Slash almost taking the tournament. Mr. E looking so clean here. That forward smash is deadly. Dill really just having to get these. Uh, oh my gosh! Oh, look at that! Whoa! That would have been it. Dill, Dill playing so safely. Yeah, Dill was ready to cover Mr. E. Dolphin slashing to the platform, but Mr. E with the mix-up, keeping himself safe. I cannot believe that grab connected. All right, that's not going to kill. Mr. E can mash out. That forward air not going to kill, but puts Dill in such an unfortunate position. Mr. E just th getting throwing out any move to kill. Dill cannot get Whoa. caught by anything right now, but oh does get the gosh. chance for the edge guard. Not able to finish it with the down air. Mr. E able to make it back, but Gyro back in hand now for Dill. No, Mr. E able to make e it right back. Mr. E looking for a no. The back air is going to seal it as Mr. E is your Xeno 301 champion over House of 3000s. Dill. The reverse 2-0. 2-0 after 2-0. And yeah, Mr. E taking things pretty handily after, you know, getting getting warm once again. Mr. E, why don't you uh, go talk with the Buzz, tell them to start coming out too. A true. You get, get your top player buddies to come out too. We want Xeno to be stacked every single week, especially since you're local. If you're local and you're not coming to Xeno and you think you don't have what it takes, you have what it takes to come and play. Come on down and grind out with us. Literally, what's your excuse? The excuses yeah. uh, that uh, we're making a minimum wage out here. <laughs> no, 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 but, but look, look. Save up a couple bucks. At least come once a month. We would love to have you here and show up. Right? You're going to have a good time. Absolutely. I mean, Misery has a good time. Dill has a good time. Yeah, I had a wonderful had a pretty time. good time. And you know what? We're going to have even a better time if House of 3000 oh, no. gets their Twitter Oops. back. What? Oh, no. Oh, Where's your faces? What? Where am I? Oh, I'm not here. There the we go. That's all right. You, you know what? We we like doing that. So we want to make sure that you guys get your Twitter back and uh, to let everybody know of the wonderful events going on, like Defend the North, uh, Waypoint Warriors next week, Bombs on Monday, as well as all of the other wonderful events like we Alpha have graphics 6. for all of these. We do. I mean, look at Bombs. Look at Bombs. I know I'm back on my the bullshit whenever I go. <laughs> the Monday grind-focused weekly, only $10 for venue and entry. And like we were saying before, your match will be on stream thanks to the quad stream. And thanks to the wonderful level ups in production, they are going to be like everything that's on the quad stream is going to be uploaded individually with sound to the House of 3000 YouTube. Something exactly. like that. Well, they, it is unlisted. So if you're like, hey, I want to watch my set, everyone will be like, bet, here it is. 
Anyway, uh, by the way, thank you, player. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, so anyway, we do also have a Waypoint Warriors. So once you're done with your bullshit, you go down to Waypoint Warriors, have some coffee, have some pastries, and go play some of the best in New York City at Waypoint Cafe NYC, just up the street. It is literally just up the street. If it you're is. like, my legs hurt, just, just drag yourself <laughs> there. It'll take five minutes. You can do it. I and believe we believe in you. in you. We will drag you there if we have to. Are you saying that, like, someone's going to stay here at Xeno for 24 <laughs> hours, and it's just like, yeah, Waypoint Warriors is very close, as long as you never left Xeno the previous night? Exactly. <laughs> hey, I would say Xeno's cozy enough Ooh. for that, but you know what's going to oh be a God. really cozy yeah, weekend? You. If you're not actually going, we got Defend the North over there and Brooklyn. So that is 153 26th Street in Brooklyn, New York, 11232. Uh, Defend the North, sorry, on Friday going on through Saturday and Sunday. There are in-person sign-ups for that weekend, so if you're like, I forgot to register, no problem. Bring your credit card. Well, happy to have you. I think they only have 110 registrants right now, so there's plenty of time for you to hit cap. So come on down, play friendlies, go have a good time, and uh, honestly, bring another arcade stick so you can like start finding like, other games. I know Skullgirls is going to be there. Shout out to my Skullgirls community. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. You're so you talking know about that. Censored game by the Whoa. liberals? Whoa! The, the you woke media you, taking you my skull You do a goddamn bread and butter and then come talk to me. <laughs> I want to see that on Twitter before you even speak that I can't that believe Skullgirls has gone woke. <laughs> I can't believe I've never touched this game for more than 30 minutes. <laughs> anyway, continue. Alpha 6. Alpha 6. On Alpha August 6. 5th in Troutman. Next level games. 3,000 pot single. Doubles. $500 pot HDR. Yo. Items invitate. What? Did you get invited? Yeah. No. Apparently John. not. <laughs> John, ask for an invite. You're a shoe in. Can I please be invited? I literally won the items tournament at high res. Then you should be invited. Let's go talk go. to them. Yeah, you've got the credentials. You've got the resume. Oh my god. The anyway. curriculum vitae. <laughs> go to Alpha, guys. It's at Brooklyn. Everyone loves Brooklyn. Oh, it's Brooklyn. I apologize. I thought that was next level. I don't Everyone even know my address. Everyone loves Brooklyn as long as you bring your coat. Also, uh, be sure to bring enough cash for that uh, bar tab you're going to have. If you're of age, <laughs> if you're of age, if not have some sodas, they're still very Stay good at mocktails. They'll make some mocktails for you. But uh, you know what? After all that is said and done, next week you do have Xeno302 right here at Xeno0 Gaming every single week. That is uh, $15 altogether. Go follow us on Twitch, start.gg, Matcharino, tweet, Twitter supports, but uh, really it's around my house with 3000 the best in the business. For now, Wonderful just follow Devin3000 That's right. on Twitter. Shout out to Devin, Helper, John Production, and everybody else who makes this possible. And of course, you know what? At the end of the day, it's you guys. Really. Thank you all. Thank you all for supporting your local scene. Guys, make sure you are coming out to events or just, you know, get the word out. Exactly. You know what? Watching the stream, sharing the stream, telling your friends how much fun this is, coming out, you know, talking about all the lovely times we have here, all of that. We couldn't ask for more. It, it, all, it all matters in the end. And at the end of the day, as long as people want to come together to play some video games, they will do so. Exactly. But unfortunately, speaking of the end, that's the end of our time here. I'm Swiss Rider. Please follow me at Twitter at Arnie Hermes and uh, Force Armor at Force Armor. The uh, British spelling, I believe. Yes. <laughs> what? Yeah, Force. Is he Force no, Armor? No, it's... it's it's is, a reference. Oh, oh, I apologize. It's Mega Man X4. Don't worry uh, about it. Well, you know, if we want some more Mega Man references, definitely be sure to follow him. But uh, definitely, guys, have a wonderful night. Take care of yourselves. I will see you next we will week. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you. Okay, you're cold.
Ignore that! Ignore that! It's not 300! It's 301! It's 301! Don't look at the numbers! Don't look at it! No way! I can't believe this! 